Hello, my name is Jason Berkmeyer. My uh, degree is in electronics engineering technology. So what are we going to talk about today? Um, today we're going to talk about nanotechnology, molecular engineering, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the purpose of this is to outline the issues involved with the dangers of molecular manufacturing. The industry has really ramped up in a few in the past few years and people are talking about how this technology is going to benefit us. They talk about how it's going to revolutionize things, how it's going to be really good technology for us. But my question is, is what are the problems? What are the risks involved with manufacturing these materials? As described by the CRN, the Center for Responsible Nanotechnology, this technology is a GPT or a general purpose technology which is why so many people are concerned with how this technology is going to affect the world. As mentioned by Credit Suisse First Boston, which is a large investment firm, all prior GPTs have led directly to major upheavals in the economy, the process of creative destruction, and nanotechnology may be larger than any of the other GPTs combined. Creative destruction is the process by which a new technology or product provides an entirely new and better solution, resulting in the complete replacement of the original technology. This was only last year. These investment firms, they plan for the future. That's their whole job. They know what's coming. And my concern is, do you know what's coming? Because until I was watching a, uh, a TED conference a few years ago, I didn't really know what nanotechnology was. Um, I've, I had heard about it, but I hadn't really, I didn't really have a grasp on what it was. But I did a little bit of research, and essentially nanotechnology is manufacturing products or substances where you arrange molecules down to a really really small level and what happens is when you arrange these molecules at this really small 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 level excuse me it has different properties than what you would expect. If you were to arrange carbon into a specific, specific lattice structure, it becomes a superconductor. Whereas carbon before was a pretty good conductor, but if you arrange it in a certain way, it becomes better than what the original material was. And that's kind of a basic example of what nanotechnology is. So, Nanotechnology, I think it's going to change the world in drastic ways. I think it's going to change it in ways bigger than the steam engine or even electricity. Nanotechnology can affect every single industry. It'll affect the clothing industry. It'll affect electronics. It'll affect houses. It'll affect your car. Every industry will be affected. So I propose that even though there are many benefits to nanotechnology, the dangers have the potential to outweigh those benefits. So what does this really mean? You know, there's a lot of risks. So what? What can society do to mitigate these risks? Are there some that cannot be mitigated? Well, there are many questions out there regarding this technology. I think there are many organizations that fully un understand and recognize the impact of this technology and what it'll do on the world. But I think making the public aware of these risks should be the first task. If the public doesn't know what nanotechnology is and they don't understand at least a basic concept, they're never going to be able to bring up the big issues. So, without the approval of the public, it would be difficult to sway political leaders to something most people don't, doesn't know about. If they don't know about it, they can't tell their leaders what they want voted for. So, what are the risks? 
The CRN has identified multiple risks invol involved with molecular manufacturing. A few of these are as follows. So one, economic disruption, disruption from an abundance of cheap products. You know, right now we have pretty, we can get a good idea of what a shirt costs, what a, you know, pants cost, just for some simple examples. When nanotechnology is released and in a, uh, a manageable form, these industries are going to change what things cost. And ultimately, the people that still go out and knit your shirts or have like a homemade business, these mom and pop businesses, or even larger businesses, they're not going to be able to use that process anymore because they can't compete price wise with these other companies that are using nanotechnology to benefit their you know focus their company focus another one economic oppression from artificially inflated prices so once they wipe out all of these other businesses that can't you know bring themselves to the new age or whatever you want to call it um, these companies are going to have essentially you know a small monopoly they're going to hire the prices because they can because nobody else can compete with them. You know, uh, another one, I think this might be obvious, but personal risk from criminal or terrorist use. These devices that can be made, couldn't. some of them can't be seen with the naked eye. I'd say most of them can't be seen with the naked eye. People can spy on you and you'd never even know it. Personal social risk from abusive restrictions. Um, if you use the technology for the wrong reasons and we put too many restrictions upon it. You might be facing jail time, you might be facing fines, that type of thing. Um, that's not something that we want to do as a public. We don't want to make it to where this technology, you know, we don't want to inhibit the production of something that's going to benefit us. So uh, another one, social, social disruption from new products and or lifestyles. Your life's going to be way different. You know, we're going to be able to pack way more computing power into smaller devices with this technology. Um, the possibilities are endless. Your life today will seem extremely distant 10, 15, 20 years from now. You'll wonder how you, there, some new technology or device will come out using nanotechnology. You'll wonder how you even survived without it. And obviously um, with pretty much every major technology you'll have an unstable arms race whoever holds nanotechnology holds the key to that they're going to be in a really good position military wise so that's something else we need to watch out so once the public has been made aware of the impact of this technology carefully thought out policy should be implemented to alleviate some of the major issues after some of the major issues are considered, some of the minor issues can be addressed and added to existing policies. Or, you know, we can make new policies and fashion specifically for the small issues if it's not encompassed within the larger, um, the larger policy. So, who, who should care about this? I mean, I think that the projected audience for this project is every American, young or old, and especially if you're an American capable of voting and or, influ and or influ influencing government. You know, we, we want to make sure that safe regulations are made to manufacture this product. We don't want unsafe practices, so we need to put regulations in place so that unsafe practices don't affect us as Americans. And as mentioned before, this technology affects everyone in all industries, so this these regulations are going to be, you know, very wide and encompassing. So if there's smaller niches of different uh, industries, we need to, you know, we need to hone our policies to each one of those industries. We need to have a, all, a big blanket policy, and then from there we can, you know, tackle the daunting task of coming up with little you know, smaller policies to cover the niches for that, those specific industries. So um, when we're talking about my references, 
I was really focused on the dangers. I mean, I, I correctly figured that most reputable sources would have proposed solutions to the problems they proposed. The goal I'm trying to accomplish through my references is to outline the actual problems with nanotechnology by showing how this has already impacted the government. There's people talking about this today. There will be people talking about it tomorrow and the next day. This is an issue that will be coming to the table in the near future. I mean, large financial organizations know about it. I'm pretty sure the government knows about it too. People are looking at this technology now to predict how it will change the future. So one thing that I ask of you is that you look at my proposal, you educate yourself on this technology. It's gonna come. It's not something that's a fad technology or anything like that. It's gonna be here and it will change your life. Thank you.